Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the new H7 mini and full-sized flight controllers by Foxeer. These flight controllers feature the MPU6000 Java chip, which as you may know, due to a global shortage, is quite expensive, making these flight controllers quite expensive as well. In this quick video, I'm only going to go over the features and specs of these new flight controllers, and soon I plan to feature at least one of them in a build and flight video. In terms of features and specs, both flight controllers can be powered directly with between 4 to 8S batteries. All the pads can be accessed from the bottom and top sides of the boards. They feature a USB Type-C port, an onboard barometer, an MPU6000 gyro chip, 16 megabytes of onboard memory for storing black box data, an H7 processor, which as far as I know is the fastest processor available for Betaflight flight controllers, and both 5V and 10V 2 amperes BECs. In addition, the full-sized version features an additional 3.3V 0.5A BEC, a dedicated 6 pins JST connector for connecting the flight controller to a digital air unit, a cutout for an FPV camera, and it supports 8 motors, as over here you can find 4 dedicated pads for motors 5 to 8. It also features 6 full UR ports, in addition to an RX port for ESC telemetry, and in comparison, the mini-sized version features 5 full UR ports, in addition to an RX port for ESC telemetry. You should note that on both flight controllers, you'll be able to switch between 5V and 10V for the power that is going to be provided to the VTX. And on the full-sized flight controller, the default option is 10V, whereas on the mini version, the default option is 5V. In terms of dimensions, both flight controllers are using M4 mounting holes, which are reduced to M3, using the provided four silicone grommets. The mini version weighs 5.6 grams and the full-sized version weighs 7.7 grams. The mini version is using a mounting pattern of 20 by 20 millimeters and the full-sized version is using 30.5 by 30.5 millimeters. The outer dimensions of the mini board are 30.8 by 29.8 by 3.5 millimeters without the JST and the USB connectors and 6.6 millimeters including them and in comparison the outer dimensions of the full sized board are 36.8 by 36.8 or 34.3 millimeters by 3.2 millimeters without the USB and JST connectors and 6.6 millimeters including them. As for beta flight configuration both flight controllers are using the same firmware, and according to my test, when the flight controllers are only powered using the USB Type-C port, on the mini version, the only 5 volts pad that is going to work is this one, and on the full-sized version is that one, and that's something that you need to consider when connecting a radio receiver or a GPS unit to the flight controller. Finally, in terms of packaging, with both flight controllers you're getting a set of four silicone grommets and with the full-sized version you're also getting a 13 cm long 6 pins to 6 pins GST harness for connecting the flight controller to the DJI O3 air unit. So overall, as far as I can tell, these flight controllers definitely seem very impressive and they can be a good fit for a premium analog or digital build. In case you wonder, both flight controllers are equipped with an OSD chip, so you can still use them on analog builds in order to overlay the OSD on your FPV feed. And of course, I still need to check them out. Hopefully they are going to live to their standard because with a price tag of over $100, these are definitely premium high-end flight controllers. Anyway, that's going to do it for this quick video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it informative enough. In case you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. I wish you all happy flying and I'll see you soon on my next videos. Goodbye.